Today's topic is about upbringing. And I kind of have this outline written down of the different things that I want to talk about. And it's kind of hard to put it on to words. Being a mama's boy, I know a lot of people put a negative connotation on those things, but I really appreciate the fact that I was a mama's boy. Growing up, I, I never really appreciated that. And I kind of had a, an understanding of why she did it. You know, being a single mom and me being the oldest kid, she kind of wanted to hold, hold me back and make sure that nothing happened to me. But in doing so, she kind of created this mindset of mine that made me never want to do anything wrong, not because I feared her or the chancla or the belt hitting me, but because I was just scared of, of disappointing her, you know, letting her down and telling her that the two, three jobs that she was working wasn't good enough. It was just one of those things where I never wanted to do anything wrong to let her down. You know, the other thing was, was being bullied. It didn't matter what I was going through in my life. Every single time the thing that I was getting bullied for, I overcame and then I found that somebody found something new to bully me for that. You know, first it started off for being dyslexic. Then I overcame that. Then it, it, it became uh, an overweight thing. So everybody wanted to uh, bully on the fat kid. And then everybody wanted to bully on the poor kid. And then everybody wanted to bully on the nerd. And then everybody wanted to bully on the athlete who wasn't good enough. It, it didn't matter what I did, there was always something. You know, there's a there's a quote that says, for every for every level there's a new devil. Or or something along those lines. You know, growing up poor, we always found creative ways to go about making money for paying the rent, for going about paying, you know, the electricity bill. You know, I remember growing up seven or eight years old, knocking door to door, asking people that wanted to buy tamales or they wanted to buy tacos or even a slice of cheesecake. You know, that was that, I was that little kid knocking on people's door, chilling chocolates, going to flea markets and trying to buy little things to flip it around and sell it to somebody else for a little more money. All those different business and entrepreneurial tendencies or traits and techniques that you need to be successful in the real world were things that I've been working on since I was a little kid. I'm no longer that kid I was growing up. I wouldn't change my upbringing for anything. I remember wanting to have certain things and I remember wanting to have more money, but I, I wouldn't change those those experiences that I that I went through growing up, I wouldn't be the person I am today without my mom. And I'll, although this is like my, my vlog and this is me sharing my story, you know, if you did make it to this part of the video, I want to encourage you to start thinking about things a different way. Think about all those different things that you went through and how you overcame them and became a better person because of it. You know, stop being the victim and, and stop just thinking about the things that you could have done, but think about who you are today and how you can become a better person. And again, remember, just by being who you are, you can change other people's lives. So share your experiences with others and let them know how you overcame it so that they can overcome it themselves. So that's day five. I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow and sharing some more. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. If you didn't check out my last video, you can look at it here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.